Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, C, D is uh, one unit, the side length uh, A, D is one unit as well, and finally, this side A, B is uh, two units. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, and uh, this angle uh, are our 90 degrees uh, each. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And I'm going to connect uh, these two vertices, uh, this vertex B and this vertex D. As you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result, we are ended up with these two right triangles. This right triangle uh, A, B, D. And this uh, right triangle uh, B, C, D. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded quadrilateral uh, area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABD plus the area of the other triangle uh, BCD. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD and this other triangle uh, BCD as well. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to figure out uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, BD. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is this side uh, BD, whereas our two other legs are uh, one and uh, two. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got one square, uh, plus uh, 2 square is going to be equal to this uh, diagonal BD square. Let's simplify that is going to give us 1 plus 4 equals to BD square or simply BD square equals to 5 and I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our this uh, hypotenuse uh, BD length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 5 units. So thus our uh, this diagonal BD length turns out to be square root of 5. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, BCD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well. And here is our Pythagorean theorem once again A square plus B square equal to C square. And here in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is square root of 5, whereas our two other legs are 1 and this uh, side uh, BC. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to write down uh, this side uh, BC square plus uh, 1 square equal to our hypotenuse is square root of 5 whole square. Let's simplify. We are going to get uh, BC square plus 1 is going to be equal to 5. And now we are going to subtract uh, 1 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore BC square turns out to be equal to 4. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our side length BC turns out to be units. So thus our this side length uh, BC turns out to be 2 units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, ABD. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times base times the height. And in our case for this triangle our base is 2 and the height is 1. So therefore the area of this triangle uh, ABD is going to be a half uh, times our base is uh, 2 times our height is uh, 1 and if we simplify and multiply that is going to give us 1. So thus the area of this uh, triangle ABD turns out to be 1 square units. 
and now we are going to calculate the area of this other uh, right triangle uh, B C D as well and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times base times the height and here in our case our base is 2 and the height of this triangle is 1 so therefore uh, the area of this triangle B C D is going to be a half times uh, 2 times uh, 1 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 1 so thus the area of this other right triangle BCD turns out to be 1 square units as well and here's our final step now let's recall this uh, equation once again the green shaded region area equals to the triangle ABD area plus the area of the other triangle BCD and we already figured out the area of both of these uh, triangles over here Let's go ahead and fill in the blank so therefore uh, the green shaded region area is going to be 1 plus 1 that is going to give us equals to 2 square uh, units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded quadrilateral turns out to be 2 square units by using the very first method and now I'm going to share with you the second method as well and in this uh, second method I am going to once again uh, connect uh, these two vertices B and D as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with these uh, two right triangles this right triangle uh, ABD and this other right triangle uh, BCD and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side uh, CD equals to this side uh, AD once again this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well and this uh, BD is the side uh, in common for both of these uh, triangles so therefore we conclude uh, that these uh, two right triangles uh, the right triangle ABD and this other right triangle BCD are our congruent uh, triangles and since uh, these uh, two triangles are our congruent triangles so that means this side length uh, is going to be equal to this side length uh, this side length uh, AB is going to be equal to this side length uh, BC we know our this side length uh, is uh, 2 units so therefore uh, this uh, BC length has got to be 2 units as well and since uh, both of these uh, triangles are uh, congruent so that means uh, the area of this uh, right triangle is going to be equal to the area of this uh, right triangle as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, green shaded quadrilateral area is going to be equal to 2 times the area of the triangle uh, ABD and we have already calculated the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABD that is equal to 1 so therefore uh, the green shaded region area is going to be equal to 2 times the area of this triangle ABD which is uh, 1 so that is going to be equal to 2 square uh, units uh, the area of this uh, green quadrilateral so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 2 square units uh, as well by using this second method and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.